I just want to talk about something that I found quite useful um, when testing code that has private fields for private members is using reflection to be able to get those uh, members in the unit test so that you can then test the sort of you know whether they're working or not. So the way I've been doing this is I have this test ref reflection helpers class. Um, I have binding flags which basically gives you the instance non-public uh, binding flags and then I've got this helper method which uh, returns a T it takes a generic of O and T so you pass in the object that you want to reflect on the name of the field you want to reflect and it returns the T type that you get and the reason this is in here is because it just saves out a load of like long-winded casting basically what this is doing is it takes uh, its type of object passed in get field field name private instance uh, or in private instance non-public or a, a null coalescer here and then get the value from the object that you pass in and so the usage of this is in here where I'm testing the ship controller the ship controller has these uh, private classes or private objects and what I want to do is be able to ensure that they have been set up correctly. In my, my test I call initialize which actually goes through and use up everything uh, and then I've got these helper methods here in the actual test class and what that's doing is that's using that reflection helper. I'm using get reflection, uh, get private by reflection from a ship controller I want the Lua script runner I'm going to pass in the ship controller object in the test and then the name of the field that I want to get and so if we go to ship controller we have this do a script runner here uh, so then that goes there and I can check whether once initialize has run that all of the things that get newed up are no longer null <clears throat> and then later it just can get more complicated and it like you can call public methods and you can then test whether the internal state of the class is doing what you want so I sort of came, came across this way of doing it about a month ago and it's actually very, I found it very useful like in basically, basically testing things that would be hard to test otherwise without exposing private members as public for the sake of testing. 